subtraction lesson for first graders. This one will be subtraction with two different objects in one group. So we're not really taking away anything. We're going to be looking at a group of objects, but there are two different objects in that group. And we're going to figure how we can still use subtraction to help us answer these questions. And let's start this first one. Here is, Jerry has six balloons. Four balloons are big. The rest are small. How many balloons are small? So when I say rest, I mean the remaining balloons. So Jerry has six balloons. Four balloons are big. And the remaining, or the rest, are small. So, let's think about this. What are we trying to find? We're trying to find how many balloons are small. And what is the information that are given to us? Well, we are given that Jerry has six balloons and four are big. So we keep that in mind. I'm going to use counters to help me. And I'm going to put them down here because we're going to play a video to further illustrate this. So here are the six balloons that Jerry has. These represent the six balloons. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six balloons. Four balloons are big. Okay. So since these are six, we're going to use the circle out and cross out to just separate the four balloons from the rest of the balloons. And this is what I'm talking about. I'm going to grab four balloons. One, two, three, four. So these four So we're not taking them away, but I, I am just going to cross these out. These will represent the four big balloons. And as you can see, we're left with two. These represent the two balloons that are small, so the answer is two. How many balloons are small? Two. Because I already subtracted the four big ones out of the six bunch of balloons Jerry has, and I'm remaining with the two small ones. And I will just show you a little video just to further illustrate this. So this is Jerry, and we see he has one, two, three, four, five, six balloons. Four balloons. One, two, three, four. Four balloons are big, so the remaining are small, and we can clearly see the one, two. So, I will play it again. Here's Jerry with the six balloons, all six. Four are big, so that means two, one, two, are small, just like what we calculated here. So we cross these out to represent the four balloons, and we're able to see how many are remaining. So we were told Jerry has six balloons, and we saw that he had six balloons, and we're going to minus four, and that's going to equal to two. Six balloons? He had six in his hands. Four of them are big, so we were subtracting the four because we want to know how many are left over that aren't big. And we see that there are two that are small. So the two small ones plus the four big ones gave us six total in Jerry's bunch of balloons. Six bunch of balloons minus the four big ones, and we have two small ones remaining. 
Another example is this. There are seven toys in the box. Four toys are blue. The rest are red. How many are red? Hmm. So, what are we trying to find? We're trying to find how many are red. And what information are we given? We're given that there are seven toys in the box. And four are blue. So, let's take a look at this one. And I'm using counters for this again. Please help me count and visualize how to solve this. We, we see we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven counters right here. Seven counters. And these seven objects, counters or balls, whatever you want to call them, because these are going to represent, now they're going to represent the seven toys in the box. Four are blue, and the rest are red. So, I will say, one, two, three, four. These four would be the blue. So, these four represent the blue, and the remaining, or the rest, are red. So, just by looking at this, we can clearly see that three are red. So what we actually did right here to help us solve this, we did a seven minus, seven is the amount of toys in a box, and we minus the four blues, and we found out that there are three reds remaining in the box. Seven total toys in the box, Minus the four of them that are blue. And that means three are remaining and three are red. And let's take a look at that one. All right. So, just looking at this, I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven toys in the box. These counters represent the seven toys, because there were seven counters here to represent four blue. One, two, three, four. And that's the one I crossed out here. So the rest, or the remaining, are one, two, three. Red, which we see. Three toys are red, and they're remaining. And that's over here. So it's the seven group of toys, seven, minus the four blues, one, two, three, four, and what do we have remaining? The three reds, one, two, three. Seven minus four is three. So here's, here's another example. There are nine animals on the farm. Seven animals are cows, the rest are chickens. How many are chickens? All right, I'm going to use counters. So this, these balls will represent the nine animals on the farm. Because remember, what are we trying to find? We're trying to find how many are chickens. And what are we given? What are we told? We're told that there are nine animals on the farm and seven are cows. So here are the nine animals. These represent nine animals. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine, nine animals on the farm. And it said seven are cows. So let's find seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
So these will represent seven. So these are the cows right here. So here are the cows right here. So we have to have two more remaining. And these two will represent the chickens. So we know that there are two chickens on this farm and seven cows on this farm for a total of nine animals. And you can see it in this picture. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine animals on the farm. And seven are cows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we see that there are two chickens on the farm. Nine animals on the farm. And we are subtracting seven cows. Seven that are cows that we already know. So how many are remaining? Two more animals. And they are the chickens. One, two. And that is all for this lesson number four. Stay tuned and continue to go into lesson five and beyond. Bye.